I ain't never heard no gym get that loud, not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, it was crazy. So I'm just like, we gotta come in together. We just gotta be together and just let, let's ride out. Let's try to get this win. Emmanuel had his fingers in his ears. I've never heard it. I've never <laughs> seen anybody do that. I ain't know that gym <laughs> got that loud. That, that, that thing was crazy, but yeah. I mean, it was hard to hear in that place. Uh, you know, it was a tough environment. We were just glad to go out there and be able to get the win in that tough environment. What's the Coach feeling when it was, is that loud to then quiet them down? You know, it, it was a good thing that we could quiet them down. You know, they, they was very loud. It was loud when we got off the bus to go to our pregame shoot around. Uh, so it was, you know, we, we expected it. Uh, so we, we just tried to come out and stick together. Coach Barbie said that asked about all the fouls you guys have had, especially the last two games. You said you're fouling a lot, not you, but the team. Yeah. What, uh, uh, what do you think of that? Uh, I say we we are we have been fouling a lot the last couple of games, uh, but you know, we we, play, we go against eight a, a couple of games, so it'd be like that. Uh, you know, it's a lot of bad calls that, that happen, but you know we can't do too much about that. Just play through it. Uh, you know, if, if, to, if some of us some of us foul out, it's just time for other people to step up. Uh, you know, uh, they've been given a chance to do that. Uh, Johnny been playing real good. Um, Khalil coming in, giving us big minutes. Keon playing real good. Um, Nate doing what he what he got to do for the team, and, and you know. Just for this team to be at our best, that's we just gonna keep needing that to happen. Uh, okay. you know, this Coach Payne was saying too that you guys uh, you should play defense with your mm -hmm. hands up so right. the refs can see them. <laughs> you guys are playing them with them down yeah. and inviting calls. Mm -hmm. why, why? Why? Why do you think that's the case? Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know. Uh, it just happened at the moment. Uh, things like that. I would say. Um, and you just caught up, and then once you realize your hands down, uh, it's too late. Uh, but I, I mean, we, we work on it a lot. Uh, they talk to us a lot about it, though. But I, I guess that's the discipline part. And Coach Kelly, he referred to you as a tough hombre. <laughs> what do you, What do you think of that? What uh, hey, What does that mean to you? Uh, he, I, I think he really just know that uh, no matter what, I'm, I'm gonna go out there. And, fight against whoever it is, uh, with whoever it is, and if, if anything goes down, I'm, I'm behind anybody. What's that a product of, Edgerton? Why? You know, some people are, are not that way. Uh, you are. I, I would Why? just say um, the way my family, uh, the way I grew up, uh, you know, my, my parents, um, they, they always uh, was a fighter, so I guess that's how, that's how I'm right. I know you've been asked a million times, but just how much extra juice do you kind of come into the game with when you're playing uh, you know, your home state school? Uh, it just, it just brings a, a different vibe because it's like I could be in one of these jerseys right here, uh, but you know I'm I'm in a, I'm rocking blue. But you know it's just it's just great to go against guys that I know, uh, compete against guys that I, that I knew growing up, uh, playing against on the circuit. Um, so I would say that 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 that's what the different uh, vibe is. Just go out there play against the hometown team and just try to make a name. On Saturday, what was that conversation like uh, after the ejection to rally the troops? What, what was that what was that conversation like? Because whatever, whatever was said, it obviously worked with you guys. Uh, I was just, just like, we, we got this. Let, let's try to get pulled away. Uh, you know, we, we wasn't down by too much. I think we was just down by like three or four. Uh, I was like, we, we've been in this situation before. Uh, you know, the, the coaching staff, they, they set us down, talked to us. It was like, hey, just lock in. Um, pulled me, talked to me and quick and was like, just talk to the guys and just get them together and we're we going to be good. You guys went on like a 15 0 run after Cal got ejected. Mm -hmm. Was that something you guys are kind of happy that Cal gets ejected? You need to have more <laughs> offense so you guys can play with? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't say. I mean, if it happened, it happened. But, um, but you know, we, when he was out, everybody was playing loose. Uh, you know, he just got up and down, was trying to get back in the way. I don't think nobody really wanted to lose. but. You know, we, we were just trying to get focused and get the win and get out of there. You got teams like LSU 5-0 in the conference, Florida surging. How important are games like this to just keep pace with the other top teams in the league? Uh, I, I would just say you got to take it one game at a time. You know, going into tournament, I mean, not tournament, SCC uh, play, it's like everybody going to give you their best shot. Everybody going to go out there and, you know, they going to watch film on you, uh, see what to do, see what they can do to help their team win. So I would just say, uh, just go in, lock, locked in, and, and just stay, stay as a team. Kenny was saying on Saturday, this year is 
very different with college basketball in general. There's no one dominant team. There's no team that's talented than another team. Everyone's just kind of in the middle, just fighting with each other. Have you noticed that this year, that everyone just there's so much parity in college basketball? Oh, yeah, I, I, I've actually noticed it a lot. You know, it, it's not as much talent uh, as we was going up against last year. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it is a lot of talent. It's a lot of good teams. But um, it's just not looking at it as it was. You know, it, the best team could get knocked off this day. The worst team could lose this day. Uh, you never know. Uh, you know, everyone's going to go out there and just keep playing because it's going to be a dog fight every night. So everybody's going to go out there and give you their best shot. Have you ever been to a place where they had people – Waiting for you when you got to the, the game. You guys get there uh, early. For yeah, the game. yeah, we did. They were there waiting for you. Got talking trash. Have you ever had any situation like that? Before? Uh, nah, it wasn't that bad last year in Florida, but they were, it was people out there. Uh, but when we went early, we went early, so it was like, dang, everybody, it was packed, like it was crazy. So I, I ain't never seen that before. Uh, they was loud, uh, but you know, once we left out of pregame shoot around, we we ran to the bus. We didn't want to hear none of that, so it was, I mean, that was a crazy environment, but I ain't never seen it. What's the thing Coach Coward not to the bus with the jumpsuit on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was real funny because, you know, he was saying, let's let's just get out of here, let him keep calling us, whatever. Uh, let's just go. Yeah, what were they time. like after the game? Like, was anybody there oh, on nah, the bus? After nah, you, you didn't see none of them outside. It was just uh, some of our fans and us just getting on the bus. Cal was so tough 